Welcome to Star Coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I see the delivery vehicle team when we're diving all the time, just hours and hours and hours in the water. I'll go come back to you in the back after this. Um, and I was kind of embarrassed, you know, by it. But that's what I wasn't doing right. And what I would tell you is, after that moment, that's where my whole leadership style and my career took a turn. Right? Because I made that my principal going in thing. Has anybody ever like sent somebody a nasty email, right? You're like, I'll show them, I'll show them, right? Or a text, right? And you hit send and then like, just right away you wish you could, you could pull it back. Right, you wake up the next morning. I never, anybody wake up the next morning, you're never happy that you sent off a nasty email to somebody, right? Or, or a mean text, like, it's never good. It's never a good thing. Just go in and treat people with respect right up front, and it will save you an awful lot of trouble in life. And that's our expectation of a good citizen, right? A good citizen is going to treat people that they meet, whether they know them or not, whether they're whoever they are in life, right? Whatever their position is, with respect just every time. Number one expectation. I'm like, go ahead and just give it, right? Yeah, that's right. Respect is earned. What I would tell you to do is go ahead and just extend it. Make them not earn it, right? That you're going in position. But you decide how you carry yourself. You carry yourself with dignity, you earn respect, right? That's the connection between them. Owning it means being accountable for your actions. When I was a, uh, also a lieutenant at Seal Delivery Vehicle Team 1, we would do these long dives and these mini submersibles. They're, they look like a little mini submarine full of water. And we're diving up in the Hood Canal for cold weather diving, it's like November. At 11 o'clock at night, we always dive at night, and uh, we're going in up the hood canal towards this ship, and it was a training operation. So the dive, we, we go for a long time. We've been underwater for about four hours at that point. We're in dry suits and these rebreather uh, bubbleless rigs. So we get under the ship, and at night, when you, you open up the, the door of this thing, it's closed little submarine. You just have kind of a screen there with a sonar that you're looking at as you're going forward. And we open up the door and if you look out, it's black, it's dark, right? It's at night. But then there's this blacker black underneath the ship. And so we go down about 40 feet, which is the keel depth of an aircraft carrier. We get underneath it and we bottom up the little SEAL delivery vehicle, this little submersible. And on the bottom of aircraft carriers are little V's in the hull and they stabilized the boat under heavy seas. So we had bottomed up, we didn't know it at the time because it's pitch black, can't even see your hand in front of your face, under the boat. And when I got out of the boat, the whole STV kind of rolled up and it pinned me to the bottom of the ship. So here I am, it's like 11 at night, I got about 300 pounds of gear on, already been in the water for four, almost five hours, and I'm pinned to the bottom of this ship in between the SDV and the hull. And what I thought to myself is, everything I've done in my life has led me here, right? To be pinned to the bottom of the ship. And I started laughing, because what else are you gonna do, you know? It wasn't that big a deal, I was able to push, push out and get out of it. But it, it really, I used that story to illustrate it. It's like all the decisions you've made in your life, and at this, when you're in high school, some of the decisions your parents have made as well, right? They've led you here to this, See, right? You get to decide where your life goes. You get to decide what kind of leader you're going to be. You get to decide what kind of citizen you're going to be. That's the power of ownership. It's a very powerful thing, right? Can you just help us see like, where our cars, we can uh, like, adjust our sights mm -hmm. so that we can... What do you shoot? What is it? Is it a And so we fill these up, and we do 10 shots for each position. Okay. Um, so 10 shots in each target? Yes. So, so um, the inner targets on the yep. inside, yep. the two, those are our side end shots. Okay. So that's where we adjust our sights. And then the outside ring of uh, targets, 
Those are the recorded shots. So those determine our score. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's three positions prone, yeah. kneeling, and standing. And standing, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And then yeah. these are the rifles that we use. They're, we have, this is a compressor.